Welcome back guys. In this video, we're gonna be doing motion tracking in LumaFusion using keyframes. So here we are in LumaFusion and I've got a clip of Luna and me walking across this field. So if I wanna track Luna in this clip, the first thing we're gonna do is go down to the little plus symbol here. I'm gonna choose overlay title. Now we're gonna double tap that to go into the edit page. I'm going to tap the little text symbol at the bottom to edit the text. Let's write Luna. When we're done typing, we're going to hit done at the bottom right here. And now we want to put a line in. So we're going to tap this little plus symbol here and choose shape. Now we can adjust this on the screen make it thinner because we want to make a line but we want more precise adjustments we can scroll down here and use the size sliders so let's make that thinner using that X slider and then we can make it shorter using the Y slider and then we can use this rotation wheel to put it at a cool angle Okay, once we've done that, we can use the position sliders to move it so that it's underneath the text. Okay, once we're happy with that, we're gonna tap this symbol in the bottom left to go into frame and fit. Once in frame and fit, we can just use our finger on the screen to move that text and line, pinch to make it a bit smaller, and then position it to where we want it. Once we're happy, we're gonna tap the little plus symbol here to create our first keyframe. Now we're going to tap this symbol here two or three times to move ahead two or three frames. And you'll notice LumaFusion automatically creates a new keyframe each time we move that text on the screen. Now the great thing about moving it manually like this on the screen is that we can actually track the motion of Luna's head as her head moves up and down as she's walking along. So just keep doing that, moving along every two or three keyframes, and then just manually moving that text along. And we're gonna do that until the text is right off the screen, and that'll be our last keyframe. So back into the main page, and the end result looks like this. And that's it, any questions at all, ask me in the comments. Thanks for watching, see you next time.